Again, good morning. Today, we celebrate women's significant role in nation building. This makes me truly honored and delighted to share the platform with my fellow women leaders on the occasion. Hindi ko po sukat akalain that I will, I will be with, uh, with uh, Ombudsman Carpio Morales and with uh, Senator De Lima and all our uh, distinguished speakers. On behalf of my fellow Lingkod Pag-ibig, I would like to thank the Asia CEO Organization for inviting me to this year's forum in particular. Every time Ms. Rebecca calls me, medyo, uh, in my 41 years in Pag-ibig Fan, I, I was always in the back room. But when I was appointed as CEO, I had no choice but to be in the front page. <laughs> I suppose every one of us knows a little bit about one another coming from our gathering during last year's Asia CEO Awards. We know each other as executives and leaders of our respective organizations. But please do allow me to reintroduce myself. I am Marilyn C. Acosta. You can call me Malen or in our office, Manang Malen. Uh, I am not a matandang dalaga, but most of my friends are matandang dalaga. That is why they thought I am also a matandang dalaga. I have two single, uh, medyo guwaping, and still looking for a manugang. I, uh, my hometown is Narvacan, Ilocosur, which in the early days, popularly known as the Guns of Narvacan. Siguro nabalitaan nyo how the Ilocos area was uh, nakakatakot at that time. But I had to move to Baguio City when I took my college education. And uh, at in my early 20s, I became a certified public accountant. At that time, you have to be 21 so that you can take your oath as CPA. Kaya ninervyos po ako when I went to the PRC kasi sa, na may, may nakamark doon, UA. Sabi ko, ano yung UA? Di makakita yung pangalan ko doon sa ano. Yung pala ibig sabihin daw doon, underage. O, oh, ba? Underage because when the re results was released, uh, 20 years old pa lang ako. So, I took my oath the following year. It was not long after I took the board exam in 1981 when I decided to join Pag-ibig Fund. Frankly, I did not want to join government. But I did not know that Pag-ibig Fund was a government office. <laughs> eh, ano eh, uh, Shanang, because I applied here in Manila right after my board exam. During the, the review, I already sent my applications. Karamihan, banks. And the office of Pag-ibig Fund then was, I think, in China Bank. So I, I thought I applied to China Bank. Yung pala, Pag-ibig Fund. But what motivated me to join Pag-ibig Fund? At the time that I, I received my uh, notice from Pag-ibig Fund, I just uh, entered Jardine Davis, dito po sa may buendia, Jardine Davis. So I, I joined Jardine Davis uh, July 13. I received my notice from Pag-ibig Fund July 24. So I filed my resignation immediately to Jardine Davis. Bakit? Ed? I said, I did not want to work with Pag-ibig Fund. I had a traumatic experience with the traffic working in Makati. My first day, I went out of the office 5 p.m. I reached our uh, house in the Pitan 10 p.m. So I missed Annalisa. <laughs> Who can relate with me? The Annalisa. Oh. So when, when I received the notice from Pag-ibig Fund, I resigned and it was my chance to go back to Baguio City. 
sino bang ayaw magtrabaho at mag-stay sa Baguio City at that time? It was cold and mabango pa yung pine trees. So, I had only I I only worked with Jardin Davis for three weeks. And who would have thought that yung isang maliit na probinsyana who did not want to work with government would stay with Pag-ibig Fan for 42 years. So, Pag-ibig Fan is 43 years. Last December, I celebrated my 42nd anniversary in Pag-ibig Fan last September 21, 19, uh, 2023. 42 years. In other words, overstaying na ang manang ninyo. But uh, I told my fellow Lingkod Pag-ibig, this is no longer a job for me. It's already a mission. So, stay with me, Lord. in this mission. A little over four decades ago, I landed a job. Oh, naulit ko na po to. As when I started with Pag-ibig Fan, I was an accounting clerk. Accounting clerk with no books to... to na, no books yet. Kasi it's a, uh, it's a newly uh, opened branch. So I was only accounting for our petty cash. You can relate, no? Counting for petty cash. But since it's a newly opened branch, all of us, even if you are in the support backroom or in the operations, we were all uh, mandated to uh, go do a door-to-door -door campaign and tell all our members about Pag-ibig Fan because they thought that Pag-ibig Fan was just a deduction. It's a deduction. True, it's a deduction. In fact, they did not know that it was savings that in due time, it will be returned to them. And with the 100 peso saving, another 100 peso comes from the employer and my dividend earnings as mentioned by Sir Richard. So we do not call it interest. We call it dividends because pag-ibig fund is owned by you, the members. That is why whatever income, at least 70%, we declare it as dividends. So you will, just, you will just be surprised when you receive your maturity claims that your dividend earnings is much higher than your personal contribution. It was in 1992, I think, when I was appointed as manager of the uh, La Union Regional Office. And then I was, uh, I crossed two expressways, the North Expressway and the South Expressway. I was transferred to South Luzon. And I stayed in South Luzon for five years. And then during Mam Leland's time, my former boss, I was moved to North Luzon. Hindi ko na po ikukwento kung ano nangyari sa North Luzon. <laughs> But it was during the time that we had one of the challenges, we had to restructure our organization to promote better organizational efficiency because Pag-ibig Fan was growing very fast. North Luzon became the pilot area and it had been a challenge to be the one testing the waters for the organization. We had to move people. With my group as a template, all regional offices were eventually able to restructure the respective units towards providing our members with better service in the regions. The latest challenge that we, and certainly every one of us, had to overcome was the recent pandemic which shook the world to a halt. I, I did not imagine that this black, black swan would, would happen. Because of the stress, I had alopecia. I wanted to throw my cell phone to the sinigang that I am cooking para, so that my superiors will, will, cannot contact me. Imagine 
if uh, 2 million uh, employed lost their job, di po ba? Around 2 million. And around 10% of that are housing loan borrowers. That was my, my concern. 10%, 10% of my portfolio defaulting, that's a disaster to a financial organization. But thank God, nalampasan natin lahat yun. At hindi ko tinapon ang cellphone ko sa siniga. If there is a silver lining that these challenges brought me, it is the realization that during these difficult times, my caring nature as a woman is a virtue that an effective leader must possess. During the most daunting moments, prioritizing our workers' health and welfare, as well as those of our members, shall always remain paramount. And that, my fellow leaders, is why I am Pag-ibig's Manang. Having worked for more than four decades as a lingkod Pag-ibig, I have been fortunate to witness how Pag-ibig Fund triumphed over so many challenges over the years. Amid these trials, I have seen how Pag-ibig Fund has remained faithful to its twin mandates. Actually, sabi ko, twin inseparable mandates. These are, firstly, to mobilize the savings of Filipino workers by implementing a nationwide membership savings program. And second is to promote home ownership through the provision of affordable housing loans. Sino po ang hindi pag-ibig member? Wala. Walang gusto umamin. <laughs> In short, we encourage Filipinos to save so that they can also afford their own home in due time. We pursue our mandates by bringing together key stakeholders in line with what our name stands for. Pag-ibig or pagtutulungan sa kinabukasan, ikaw, the member, the Filipino worker, Banco, Industria, at Gobierno. The challenges we have hurdled over several decades have all been instrumental in making Pag-ibig Fund as one of the best performing financial institutions and as one of the most trusted government agencies in the Philippines today. And on an equal footing, these challenges formed me into shaping my personal outlook and driving principles as a Filipina. Being a CPA allowed me to gain better understanding of Pag-ibig Fund's operations. After all, we are a government financial institution, 100%. As such, may I share with you the key concepts that I use as my guiding and driving principles. Coincidentally, its acronym is also CPA. So it's easier to remember. Manang na po kasi, kailangan may, may Q. Diba? CPA. First is consistency. They always say that the only thing consistent with the word is change. Sinabi yun kanina ni Miss Monica ba yun, yung first speaker. Thus, I tell my fellow Lingkod Pag-ibig that no matter how much of a change is made, whether in your designation, your job descriptions, or even your bosses, you should be able to remain consistent in delivering excellent yet productive outputs. In the same way, I as a leader also embodies consistency in keeping my commitments to our stakeholders. 
And I, as a public servant, practices consistency in living with sound values and integrity. Once consistency is achieved, the second principle will come easy. It is the passion. The passion to serve. What I always will say to my fellow Lingkod Pag-ibig is that no work is too small in our organization. Every work and worker matters. Whether you are manning the front lines or at the back end, whether you are a manager or a driver, whether you are a rank and file or a maintenance staff, we value your contribution to the organization. I encourage everyone to be a star in their own roles in our organization. And because we own and devote our hearts to our passion, we are able to make sure that each hard-earned peso that our members and trust shall be prudently managed. My final driving principle is adapting the vision and mission of your organization. If your principles are aligned to that of your organization, it will be easier for you to go the extra mile in doing your work. And because my advocacy is always for savings and financial literacy, I did not have a hard time adapting Pag-ibig and its vision. This is our vision which was crafted during Mam Ma Leland's time. It was reviewed or updated during Mam Ma Leland's time. Our vision, we envision for every Filipino worker to save with Pag-ibig Fund and to have a decent shelter. And to make this happen, our mission is to generate more savings from more Filipino workers to administer a sustainable fund with integrity, sound financial principles, and with social responsibility, and to provide accessible funds for housing for every member. Let me walk you through on how we in Pag-ibig Fund applied the CPA principles in our work. On consistency, as I mentioned earlier, being consistent is key to delivering excellent service and responsive policies for our members' benefit. As a result, we have consistently posted banner years and record highs year after year, leading to our best performing years in our 43-year history. This is your Pag-ibig Fund. Allow me to show you our performance in 2022, which is considered as one of our banner years as of the Year-end 2022, Pag-ibig Fund is home to 15.12 million active members. Mamaya po may quiz. We released 117 billion in housing loans, which allowed 105,212 of our members to have homes of their own. This is the first time that we have financed more than 100,000 homes in our history. We have also extended short-term cash loans totaling 53.76 billion, aiding more than 2.61 Filipinos seeking immediate financial relief. We closed 2022 with assets, your assets, at what at 827 billion imagine the 100 your 100 peso contribution and the other 100 from the employer is now at 100 827 billion while net income after mp to returns stood at 44.5 billion 
our members have also collectively saved almost 80 billion, which is also a new record high. We are also proud to report that because of our record high accomplishments in 2022, we were able to declare the highest annual dividend rates for our regular savings and MP2 savings since the pandemic of 6.53. This was the one mentioned by Sir Richard. 6.53 for your regular savings is 100 peso. And for the MP2, 7.03% respectively, which you also get to enjoy as Pag-ibig members. At this point, I would like to inform you that our interest rates for housing loans is 6.25. Napansin niyo po, baliktad. The dividend rate or sa iba, they call it interest rate. The dividend rate is 6.53, but the interest rate for housing loan is 6.25. Baliktad na back-to-back -back loan. Normally, back-to-back -back loan, the interest rate of the loan is higher than the interest that you get from your time deposit. Pero ito, baliktad po. Lalo naman sa affordable, the socialized. The socialized interest rate is 3%. This is for the minimum wage earners. And with the drive for consistency prevailing in performing high-quality service, the second principle, which is passion, ownership and love of work comes easily. Let me show you your Pag-ibig Fund is doing today. Kasi sabi nyo, 2022 naman yan. Anong 2023? Umayos ba? Mas maganda ba? Okay, Pag-ibig Fund now serves at home to 15.93 million active members. So kanina, 15.12, now at 15.93. Sabi nyo, bakit ang bagal? Kasi may fallouts because of those uh, contractual employees. They work for five months, then walang trabaho. So we... We deduct them from the active members, although they are registered members because they can always reactivate anytime. This is the highest number of active members over the last five years, even surpassing our pre-pandemic active membership in 2019. This record high membership level empowered Filipino workers through their membership savings with Pag-ibig Fund with Pag-ibig Fund. For year 2023, our members collectively save 89.26 billion in savings. This is composed of the regular savings of 200 pesos and the voluntary savings, which we call the MP2. So if, uh, based on our data, the voluntary savings that we collect is much higher than the mandatory savings. O di ba nakakatakot yun? Nakakatuwa pero nakakatakot. Di ba? Because it's voluntary. And we say that is a sign of trust of our members. They entrust to us much higher. Yung iba kasi they will just comply with the mandatory. The trust of our members and our strong fiscal standing supports the continued pursuit of our mandate to provide affordable home financing for our members. In 2023, we have released 126 billion to build new or better homes of around 96,000. Bumaba. Why? Because there is no production of socialized housing units. Unfortunately, we are not into production. We are into financing. And through these accomplishments, I am happy to report that your the total assets of your Pag-ibig Fund has now surpassed the 900 billion mark. So if you want to know your share, you just divide 913 billion divided by 50, almost 16 million. That's your asset sa Pag-ibig Fund. 
This fits put into perspective, perspective that our asset is our people who we aptly call as lingkod pag-ibig. As a woman, I value the essence of equality especially when it comes to our workplaces and because we adopted the vision and mission of our organization, we also strive to embody the meaning as we know it for. In our case, pag-ibig means love. And love means no boundaries, no matter what your gender is. So, wag, mag, wag magselos ang mga lalaki. We are 9,236 people strong in pag-ibig fund. Taking care of 16 million Filipino workers all over the world because we have members. The OFWs are also our members. Of this, we have 5,592 women employees, which form 61% or majority of our workforce. We have 90 officers overall, and 47 of them are women. And in the entire Pag-ibig Fund's 43 years of existence, 21 years or almost half of this have been managed by female chief executive officer. Dalawa kaming nandito. Si Ma'am Mel is in the U.S. We also do our best to aim for a gender equal workplace through our own gender and development or God efforts. We steered our own gender and development committee and a lot resources, especially for training and skill development, activities and other programs to further empower our lingkod pag-ibig in their professional capabilities. It has also been my dream and vision to equip not only my fellow women, but everyone within my reach with the right skills that will enable them to have a sustainable livelihood and dignified lives. And as a farmer at heart, my family also established the Adopt a Family Program in San Fernando, La Union, where we help the family be equipped with the proper knowledge and skills in farming, especially organic farming. To support this initiative, we organize pick and pay sessions by the farm to table movement and teach them organic farming techniques through our farm called Ibits Farm. Uh, that is my nickname Ibit, so that's not an acronym, it's just my nickname Ibit. We are proud to share that their skills have enabled them to produce may, many local products, which you now see the sample. Most of it are pinakbet vegetables. I also uh, encourage our stakeholders, mostly our developers, to include edible landscaping in their projects because it can help food production. Baka kayo pwede din po. Edible landscape in your in your garden. We can we can help solve the food shortage or pang distress, no? Relaxation. This is why I'm grateful to the Asia Organization for continuously recognizing women's efforts and accomplishments through awards and recognitions. Please allow me to say my thanks to the Asia CEO Awards 2023 for recognizing me as your circle of excellence for three years now. To cite the Asia CEO 2020 Shiro of the Year, the Asia CEO Executive Leadership Team of the Year, and most recently, the Asia CEO 2023 Woman Leader of the Year. Pero sa tagal ko po sa serbisyo, baka leader of the century na yan, ano? kasi malapit ng kalahating century. <laughs> Equally important is the impact that platforms like this have made on Pag-ibig Fund. 
more than the recognition is the motivation that is associated with it. This assures us knowing that women like us have a lot more people who will support and empower us to make ripples of change and contribute to nation building. All this through consistency, passion to serve, and adapting the organization's vision and mission. On behalf of almost 10,000 Lingkod Pag-ibig, we thank the Asia CEO organization for conducting the Asia Women's Forum and celebrating women's achievements all over Asia. May we continuously acknowledge that our successes as women are intertwined and the impact that result from it will be part of our collective narrative as women leaders. I am grateful to have been given this opportunity to share my Lingkod Pag-ibig journey and inspire other women to help our fellow Filipinos. I hope that you continue to use your platform in helping women build a world where we are known for our limitless potential and where we are defined by our high standards. Again, thank you very much for having me. Pabuhay po tayong lahat.